Hey YouTube, it's th that one show podcast today. We're doing an audio one because we're lazy. Yeah, we're lazy. Yeah. So, um, here we're going to do something today. We're going to do a review of every single Eminem album. Because we're white. Because we're white. So here's how this is going to work. The first, we're just going to go over every album in chronological order. Yeah. And we're just going to say a few things about, like, each song. We're not going to, like, stand on one song for too long. Get it? I'm gonna stand on one song for too long, AJ, huh? I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, let's start. So much. Um, where are we starting? And then, oh, the first two albums I haven't listened to entirely yet, so AJ's <clears throat> opinion is gonna be a little more stronger than mine. Okay. For the first two albums. Well, one of them... Well, to clear something up, one of them is an album, and one of them is actually not an album. It's an EP, which is, for people who don't know, an EP is pretty much like a shorter yeah. album. It's something you show to the record label to prove that <laughs> they're going to want to hire you. I guess so. I guess so. that's the thing that made him it. famous, his EP. Well, this is what got Dre to discover him. Yeah. So, pretty much, it's what made him famous. It sold way better than Infinite did. Which is stupid. Let's start From what I've heard, that's stupid. No, no. I'd say the Slim Shady EP was put him in probably one of the most important EPs ever to come out. Okay, so... Can you say a few things about these the first two? Because I'm not... I haven't listened to the first well, two entirely. Well, you, you'll know quite a few songs on the EP. I know most of the songs on the EP because they're in, um... The LP. Yeah. Okay, so Infinite. This is the, his first album released in 1996... Not by the way, this is before Dre, before any of that. So this album, it came out only like in the Detroit area because he had to sell it himself. So let's see every song on here. You got Infinite, which you can put your input on since that's Infinite's great. It's a great song. It's honestly top ten M songs for me. Yeah, I would say that. <clears throat> it's just so good. It is really good. I don't care. There's an interlude, which is pretty much a skit back then. It's just a weird yeah, thing. Yeah, I haven't heard. I, the rest of these I haven't heard. So. Okay. Well, there's a song called It's Okay. It's pretty much... It's like an upbeat song, which is funny, but this is back before his songs got dark. Yeah. Because the Slim Shady dude alter ego shit didn't exist yet. Yeah. So this is before his songs were all dark. This is like an uplifting song. Like, don't worry, everything's gonna be alright. Mm -hmm. Then you got Tonight, it's another kind of uplifting song, but not. And then you got 313, which is pretty much representing Detroit. Because if you didn't know, 313 is the area code for Detroit. Yeah. Like how we are 856 or 609, whatever part of Jersey you live in. Mm -hmm. You got Maxine, it's not that great of a song, it's about a girl. Uh, open Mic is about a bunch of dudes arguing about a, who can rap first. I don't know, it's, this album's really weird, okay? Uh, it's worth listening to. Never Far, I think that's an uplifting one, but I don't remember. I don't remember this album that well, but I don't know. Never Far, I don't fucking remember. Wow, we're professionals, all. man, but you can keep going. <laughs> I don't know much about. I know a lot about this album because I really like. I still haven't listened to it yet. He literally just burned me a copy of it like five minutes ago. That's the like only, an hour ago. That's the only uh, standard way of really getting a copy nowadays because. The regular the, copies are just so expensive. Yeah, listening to this album is hard. Like, it's not on Spotify. It's not on Apple Music. You have to go on YouTube and look this up, and then illegally download it. I mean, legally download All right, it. What's the next song? <laughs> okay, uh, "Searching." That's more of an uplifting song, I think. "Backstabber" is like the darkest song on here, but it's not as dark as anything Slim Shady would make. It's not a bad song. And then "Jealousy Woes" too. I don't even remember what that's about. Yeah, so Infinite. It's a, it's not a bad album. It's worth a listen though to see like the origins and shit. Mm -hmm. That's all I can really say. All right, so good album by the way. Out of ten, five, uh, no, one and through ten, I'd probably give it like a six, seven out of ten. It's pretty good. Uh, from what I've heard, which is only Infinite, Infinite is like a nine out of ten song. Oh, it is. Yeah, like that's it's it one is. of the best Eminem songs. In my opinion, yeah, one of the best songs. All right. I don't know about the album so much, so I'm not going to give that one a rating. Next one, <coughs> this is the last EP. one I don't know. But some of the songs on this one are on the Slim Shady. So I know some of these songs, it's just on this album, it's a little different. Yeah, the beats are different for some of the songs on here, except for one, which I'll talk about later. There's an intro, which is actually 
a prequel to the song My Darling, if you didn't know. Really? Yeah. Because it has the same voice and shit in it. It's really funny. Mm-hmm. Low Down Dirty, that's actually a really funny song. I, I don't really know how to explain these songs, aside from just saying if they're good or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I had, you know that song. If I had a million dollars, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, beat, no, that's a good song. The beat on here is exactly the same as the... That's a great for, song. Yeah. Just Don't Give a Fuck. That's which, a great song. Great song. The beat's different on here, though. It just sounds like lower quality, because these albums, again, were this made by like, a local group. Yeah. Like, these guys didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, Mommy Skit, which is like the car noises you hear at the beginning of the song 97 Bonnie and Clyde. Okay, yeah. And then there, there's also that song is on this L- EP too, right? But it's called Just the Two of yeah. Us. That's a fantastic song. Great song too. Fantastic song. I like the beat on this one better. A little bit? Yeah, because... I have to listen to that one. I, I like the beat on it on the regular album, but in here it has like a dark carnival type beat, and I really Ooh. like it. Not like, it's already not a like, dark song. Not so like, like the Left 4 Dead map. Because it's a dark carnival. <laughs> I mean, it's already a dark song. Yeah, but the beat sounds even darker on here, which I really like. Yeah. No one's iller. This there's a there's actually a feature song. A few people feature in this, and I forget who. Really. I think oh, Bizarre from D12's on here, and I think one other guy is. I think it's Proof, which is like his best friend. Proof is yeah, that is his best friend. Yeah, rip in peace. He's gonna come up a few more times. Yeah, and then Murder Murder is a really good song. I remember, there's one line in there where he talks about Nintendo 64. I, yeah. I remember that. And the last two songs are songs on here, but radio edits. Which mm-hmm. means they're censored. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. It's just like if I had and just don't give a... Yeah. Frick. Snarf. Next album. This is one I can start putting input in because I yeah. know this album like the back of my hand. Yeah? Yep. So first song. Slim Shady The Public LP. Service Announcement, which is... A this great is skit. a public service Here's announcement. announcement. <laughs> Brought to you in part by Slim Shady. And he's like, watch the fuck out, or something like that. No, he was like, that's... And um, the first one, it's, um... Kids should not be listening to this album with laces in their shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he comes out and he's like, yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and then it transitions to... Second song. Probably one that everybody knows. Everybody knows this song. My name is... Chicka it's chicka literally his shady. most fa- one, like, if one of not his most, his famous, most famous song. I would say it is his most famous song. I can see that. I don't think it is, but it's up there. Number three, Guilty Conscience. Great song. Great song. Uh, Dr. 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 Dre, Dre feature, feature is uh, great. They go together well. I like mm-hmm. in that song. I like how Dre is the good guy and Eminem is the bad guy. Yeah. I just love the how that worked. They should do another one of those. Yeah. Um. You number th- four. My, one of my f- top time all favorite Eminem songs like Brain Damage ever since the day I was born yeah that <laughs> song is fantastic not to be confused with Brain Damage with Pink Floyd personally I think that's a better song fuck you sorry no Brain Damage is a fantastic song both songs are very the good the rhymes in this one are great yeah and especially he rhymes orange that's a hard feat to do to rhyme yeah. orange yeah he it's all about pronunciation just love and this is like the first time where like he's he's like negative towards his mother, I would say. Like, this is the f- literally the first song where he has negative yeah. feelings towards his mother. I think he does later in the album. Especially but later in the album. And that'll come up in further the reviews we get. Oh, like, God, for, yeah. yeah it's Eventually get, it gets it'll annoying. It'll get worse and worse and worse the further we go on. Yeah. Um. Next skit, Paul. This is the first time the we first get time a Paul, Paul skit. comes up. The skits for Eminem are great. Most of his skits are pretty entertaining. Yeah, their their skits are fantastic. Hell, most skits in all of rap is usually pretty good. Yeah, like I've never really heard a bad skit. Wait until we uh do Dr. Dre's. Reviews. We're gonna review Dr. Dre. Oh, one we're day. gonna do that next when Eric isn't here. Next song, if I had, we already we talked that about one. that one. That was on the EP. Yeah, it's ninety seven Bonnie and Clyde. Already Again. talked about that. Yeah, that's that's it's just good the one. two of us on the EP. Right. So what's the next song? Bitch. Bitch. Alright. It's a skit. It is a skit. It's really simple. She's all like, oh my god, this is the worst shit I've ever heard. She's like, oh my god, this Eminem guy, he's so disgusting. I hate him. I was gonna call his manager and say he's all gay and poopy. (laughs) That sounds about right. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I know what the next song is. It's a really good one. It's one of my top ten. Oh, it's in your top ten. It's another top ten Me too. A lot of... Role Model? Role Model. It's It's a good song. A lot of good rhymes. I love this. It's just... 
Yeah. It's like a great Eminem song. It's so good. It just goes in. Mm-hmm. I love the shit where he can just start and, like, just yeah. never stop slowing down. Yeah. Like, when he, cause when he starts and he just keeps going. Uh-huh. And then, so, next is Lounge. That's a good which skit. Which is, is a skit that's related to the next song, My Fault. This uh, song is fucking, it, it's, it's, it's okay. It's weird. It's a little goofy. I kind of like it. It's corny. It's funny, though. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's a little fucked up, but, like, yeah. it's, it's a good song. Yeah. It's, uh... I'll uh, just give you the rundown. He he gets a bag of 25 mushrooms. He eats, he eats what? Three? He, he eats three, and then, like, the girl he was taking the mushrooms with eats the other 22 caps. <laughs> and then she, she, like, starts going crazy and doing all this shit, and, like, then at the end she dies. Yeah. <laughs> she she drank Lysol. <laughs> Ripping beast to my girl Susan. <laughs> Blonde-haired babe with half of her head shaved. Yeah. Yep. All right, next song, Ken Kniff. What can Let's I say about my boy Ken Kniff? Boy, oh me and fuck yeah! One night we were just hanging out and uh, we started playing all of them. It was both Seths. Yeah. And they were like, "What's Ken Kniff?" And we were like, "AJ, we have to show him." We played every skit. We'll get to the other ones. There's a lot more. I would say this one is probably my least favorite one. Really? This one? Yeah. This is a lot of people's favorites. Out of the out of the Ken Kniff skits? Huh. Nah, this is probably one of my least favorite ones. Hmm. Um, the thirteenth song is "Come On Everybody," C U M. Yeah, <laughs> it reminds me of "Come On Feel the Noise." <laughs> Quiet Riot. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Riot. No, that's a good song. Yeah. I heard they. It's a, it's a dance song. I heard it's, they hated that song. It's like a they club did, song. Yeah. From what I've heard, they did not want to perform that song because it's actually a cover song. I saw a video where they did perform it live. Yeah, but like when they were first recording it, they said they hated it, but yeah. now they really like it. Um, fourteen is rock bottom. I That's love a great that song. song. It's a great That's song. That's my favorite song on the album. Yeah, honestly. it's probably I. Yours is brain damage. Brain damage is definitely my favorite one, but, and I would say it's probably my third favorite song because we haven't gotten to my favorite one yet. Yeah, my I know what that second is. Second favorite. Oh. So, um. After that, Rock Bottom's great, by the way. It's, it's just about his past and yeah. being poor all the time and mm-hmm. why he's resorted to crime in the past. It's just a great song. Yeah. Next song, um, Just Don't Give a Fuck. Uh, we already talked about that. that. That one's just a great song. Good song. Um, Soap, which That's is this skit. weird... It's, it's, it's a, a weird skit. It's, it's a like really one of his one. least. It's one of my least favorite skits. It just doesn't... I feel like it's out of nowhere. Yeah. It doesn't... I. Maybe it made more sense. It's parodying it soap was, operas. Yeah. That's just a soap opera parody, honestly. I always thought it was just one taken directly from one, but no, it's, it's yeah. just good. Um, next song, As the World Turns. That one's also great. really weird. That one's great. Yeah, I like it. It's funny. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't you say you played that song for some people, and then once they heard this uh, one the, line, they he lost says, uh, dun, 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 Go, go, gadget dick. Yeah, and everybody started laughing in the car. That was funny. No, that's a good, that's an okay song. Yeah. Um, I'm Shady. Another good song. That's a good song. Yeah. I don't know. That's on, like, I think most of the, I think almost every song on this album is good. Yeah, that's I don't the think thing there's is, one. In the end, I don't think there's a bad song on this album. Yeah, like, even my but, least like, favorite song bad say, songs. Like, yeah, like, I would say, but I'm Shady is probably my least favorite. Yeah, like, like, like I just think that's the most forgettable one out of all. Yeah, there's like, I'm Shady, Come On Everybody, and As The World Turns, yeah. in my opinion, are like the lesser ones, but they're still, they're good, still okay good. They're still good songs. Yeah, after that, we have my second favorite song. Of all of, of all, all Eminem? Of all, not all of Eminem, but it's in my top ten. Of all time? Yeah, wow. Bad Meets Evil. That is a good song. It's a, it's a feature with a, another Detroit rapper, Royce the Five Nine. Nine. They're great together. Yeah, they, they rap sh- so good together. They even had like a little group going. For yeah, they a while. had a. They had a group called uh, Bad Meets Evil. Yeah, and that's what the song came was after like, the Bad song. Meets Evil. Yeah, yeah. In and fact, it, Royce was really new at the time, which mm-hmm. was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, we have the uh, the last song in the album. Still don't give a fuck. It's a very good song. It's also, a very good song. And that's the end of the Slim Shady that's the LP. That's the Slim Shady LP. I would give this a 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it... Yeah, I'd say 8 out of 10 is fair. It's one of the first Eminem albums I've listened to, like, fully. 
Yeah. I would say that it's probably the first... Because I tried to listen to them in chronological order, but I kind of failed on that. Uh, I went Eminem show uh, at Marshall Mathers. No, I went Eminem show, then Slim Shady LP, then Marshall Mathers LP. Uh, you did it backwards. Yeah. Next album. Which most people say is his greatest of all time. And I agree with that. I think I do too. Actually, you know what? This might sound weird. I think I like Slim Shady LP better. I can see why you would say that. But I think I personally like it better. I like this one more. No, I know why people like this one more. Don't worry. It's not like so, I disagree. Every song on this album is fantastic. Just about every just song. about every song. Well, let's talk about. The well, album. All right, let's just go on. The public service announcement in this one is way better than the first one. It's far yeah. funnier. It's um, you can suck his fucking cock. <laughs> I, this this isn't on any of his more albums, but there was one final public service announcement on the first D12 album, yeah. and the guy dies. Oh, and, really? And that's why there's no more public service announcements. That's funny. They actually kill him. I didn't listen to D12 that Oh, one spoiler yet. alert. But, like, the intro, they fucking kill the guy, so that's why there's no more public service announcements. <laughs> Alright. First song, Kill You. First song. Very good song. This that's is the first favorites. song where we get... Probably the worst lyric about his mother. Oh, yeah. This is where... Uh, this album, he really goes in on his mom. Yeah, it's this like... Album, he damn, really man. goes in. He goes in on a lot of people in this album. A lot of people. A lot of people. This is like... Especially with one song, it's literally just a diss to basically his fans and everybody. Like Yeah. Um, After that, Stan. Stan. Such a good song. I have to say... My number one favorite Eminem song ever, and probably my number one favorite song of all time. Wow, it's such a good song. It's such a great song. I honestly can't say anything about it other than you just go listen to it. Like, it's that's totally really worth the only way we if can explain it. If you've somehow never heard it, if go you've listen never to heard it. Stan, you just gotta listen to it. It's such a good song. It like coined the term in the Oxford Dictionary. Yeah, which means like the and overzealous you know what? joy. Fuck. Fuck people because every time I talk about this song, I'm like, yeah, Eminem definitely made this word. I don't fucking believe it. Like he definitely made this up because I've never heard it before. It was like nothing before Nobody that. Nobody ever talked about it. So I, I literally think that he just made that. I word think up. he he created was the, the word. One that created it. And my sister, every time I talk about her, was just like, no, you're wrong. You're stupid. Well, where like, does it come from then? I, I, it's not something I that's just it been before. around. I googled it before, and every time you look it up, it just ties back to Eminem. So like I. Mm-hmm. He had to have come up with. I've it. even looked up page two on Google, so that means you, that knows. Yeah, fuck right. my English. That means you know I've been trying. Let yeah, man. To say, um, we got our second Paul skit. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, uh, he's just like fuck it. <laughs> yeah, and this one he's just like you need to tone it down, but then he's just like you know what? He's not gonna do it, so fuck it. Yeah. And, and I never knew I. <laughs> Who knew? That's a great song. I never knew I. That's a great song. Yeah, that's what it's I just him forget about. But now I'm talking really about. It. How his first album was controversial, and yeah, he was just like, I didn't know that people were gonna do bad things. That's basically it. It was like, yeah, like Marilyn it's, Manson. It's good. Yeah, shout out to Marilyn Manson. I, yeah, he, I'm he, trying he, to get he mentions him. Marilyn Manson in that. Yeah. Um. After that, we have um the Steve Berman skit. The first. The Steve first Berman Steve skit. Berman skit, and probably my favorite Steve Berman skit. Oh yeah. He was the one where he's, he's like, um, <laughs> where he's like, he's trying to sell the record to all these record companies and nobody will buy it yeah. because it's just too controversial. Yeah. And he's just like, I can't sell this shit. <laughs> they told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> they told me to go shove this record up my ass. <laughs> Do you know how I feel that someone tell you to shove a record up your ass? <laughs> That's just a great skit. That's a great line. Number seven, The Way I Am, probably one of his most popular songs. Definitely. It's great. It's a good song. It's just mm-hmm. talking about how, you know, how controversial he is and especially in this one he this is the first time he talks about fans in public. Yeah. And how fans are harassing him in public. Yeah, which would get to somebody after a while. Yeah. So I 100% understand that. Yeah. And especially we're going to talk about that oh, later. I don't know my screen could go black on Audacity. Yeah, I'm using Audacity to sue me. So, uh, it's after working. that, we get, like, um, oh, Jesus, how far are we into this video? 20 minutes. Fuck. That's this okay. Be a long-ass episode. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, no, we haven't posted in a while, so. Yeah, okay. it's worth it. It's gonna be a long-ass video, but I'll do it. Um. And we'll talk about whatever after this. The Way I Am 
is great. It's just him. This is the first time where he ever talks about just people in public, and he yeah, just doesn't like, like it. It gets way worse after this. Um, eight, the 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 real Slim Shady. That's probably literally his most popular, popular song. song ever made. Like, yeah, you, everybody knows this song. If you don't know this song, you're stupid and you've been living under a rock. Like, yeah, this is the one Eminem. When people think of Eminem, this is the song they think of. Yeah. Which, get ready everybody, I like this song a lot, but it's, I hear it way too Underrated. Long. Overrated. Overrated. <laughs> no, overrated. underrated we'll get to later. It's super overrated. Yeah, underrated we'll definitely get to later, especially when we get around, like, relapse. <laughs> yeah. And that's where we lose all credibility, because we <laughs> like relapse. Bro. We're gonna be shit on by, by Eminem fans after this. Yeah, we are. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> Fucking stands. Oof. Okay. Um, after that, we have um, probably one of my favorite songs on this album, Remember Me. Really? That's, I, I love that was RB- one of the weaker ones. I love Ex- <laughs> RBX. You actually like that song? I like that song a lot. It's alright. That's only because I've listened to The Chronic and Oh, damn. And I just like him. Alright, I don't get it then. Damn. Yeah, he's a really good rapper when you listen oh. to him a little more. Okay. Um, after that, it's a good song. That's it. Okay. I'm I'm back. I love that song. I like that song. That song is great. That's the first. He song. says his most controversial line ever. One of them, yeah. I no, I would honestly say it is one of his most controversial lines ever. So I would take seven kids from Columbine, stand them all in line, add an AK-47 or a and then yeah, I mean we'll come back to that. In fact, yeah. What's it called? It was only like less than a year after Columbine happened when he said that yeah. line. So. You can tell why people weren't happy about that. Yeah. After that, this is his meanest album, by the way. This is the meanest he'll ever be. Yeah. This is where he's going to say the worst stuff. Uh, there's a few contenders that we'll talk about later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know exactly what you're thinking, by the way. Okay. (laughs) Um, Marshall Mathers. Very good song. Great song. It's just... I like how has... This is, like, one of his first songs to have more of, like, a rock beat. Because, like, mm-hmm. the guitar kind of reminds me of, like, Metallica for some reason. Like, dun 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 It kind of reminds mm-hmm. me of, like, Sanitarium. Just, again, him talking about his family. Yeah. And his, and um, faggot. struggling with, um, fame. Yeah. Basically. Uh-huh. Talking about how he doesn't like... How all these fake-ass boy bands are making him so angry. <laughs> I agree, though. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what that's all. Little grown boy groups make me sick, too. Yeah. Um, after that, we have one of my least favorite Kankadif skiffs. You don't just, like that one? There's one reason I don't like this one in particular. Why? Is because I was playing this one while I was making a delivery and somebody heard it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just so great because, like... It's funny when you're listening to it alone, but when somebody hears it, man, damn. They're, they're just like, what the fuck are you listening to? That dude's got gay porn in his <laughs> And it's literally what that disc. song is. It's literally gay porn. It's so weird. Um, Moving it's on. It's funny though because it's Ken Kniff. Yeah. And that's the <laughs> last. That's the last Ken Kniff skit with uh, Ken Kniff in the title. By the way. Yeah. The rest are just incorporated into other songs. Yep. Most of the part. Um. After that, we have. Hold on. Drug ballad. I like that song. It's the first time he ever talks about how. I... I mean, it's the first time he ever really brings up a drug problem, I yeah. guess. He doesn't really... He's still like, yeah, I'm gonna do this forever. But, like, he's huh. not, like... He's not too positive about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a good song. Yeah, I like it. And the next is Amityville, if I'm right. I love this song. <laughs> uh, there was one point in time where, uh... Alright, so AJ made the Chipotle thing, and I was like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna make my own diss song! And I had this idea for a long time where I would do Amityville, but it was Franklinville, and I'd get all the Franklinville people just to like, have like a actual line Franklinville in it. rappers. Like I was gonna like have people. Chris oh, and God. like Sully, and like that would have been awesome if we could do that. You should still do it. I should. I don't live in Franklinville anymore. I live in Pittsgrove, but I lived in Franklinville for a long time, so I guess yeah. I could technically say. All right. After that's just a good song. Well, Devin's willing to sound just him like talking people. about. We're rough here in Detroit, man. Yeah. Don't come to Detroit. Um, bitch, please. Bitch, two. please. Two. I I haven't heard bitch, please one. I don't, I don't think, think there, there is, is a bitch, please one. one. 
Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> yeah, fuck. So it has a song, lot of features in it, though. Yeah, it has Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, and Nate Dogg. Oh, yeah, I forgot Nate Dogg was in this. Yeah. I like Nate Dogg. Oh. Everybody was good in this song. Yeah, everybody had a good part. Yeah, it's just a good song. Yeah. All in all. It's just... All in all. It's just this song. Yeah. That is basically what it is. It's just this song. Um, 16. This is, a. This isn't really a song. Oh, is it Kim? Yeah. Now, I've heard people say they like this song. My I, sister likes this song. I can see why people like it, honestly. It's... I do see why really people like it. Really just about him and his wife and their marital problems. That's the good way of putting it. People say it's a prequel to 97 Bunny and Clyde. I don't it mind that. Uh, yeah. Because at the end of the song, you hear the shovel. Yeah. Um, after that, AJ's favorite D12 song with Eminem. It is. Under the Influence. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny song. It's a good D12 song, too. It's the it first, is. It's the first D12 feature in, on an Eminem it CD. Is. And there's a few more after this, I think. Yeah, there are a few more after that. And this song is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's I, good. I'd say so. After that, we have Criminal. Which is one of my favorite. It's probably one of my favorite songs on this album. Oh uh, yeah, this... I like this one. It it ends really good, mm-hmm. and then it gets a sequel. It does, which we'll talk which about we'll later. Talk about it later. Oh, and so does Stan. Stan on the same album too. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Wait until we get to Marshall Mathers LP two, Electric Boogaloo. Kill yourself. But for now, Marshall Mathers LP one. Ten out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Really? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10 in that region. Okay. There's a few things on this out. I would say there's one song that throws it off, for me at least. Kim. And that's Kim. Is, yeah. It's just hard to listen to at some points. Yeah. Uh, it's a little It's a little rough. Like, it's... I listen yeah. to, like, Marilyn Manson and shit like that. It, I heard talks of, like, he wanted to do a feature with Eminem, but it wasn't on Kim. It was, yeah. like, a separate thing, but it never went through. Yeah. And I've been like, hey, why didn't they do it on Kim? That would have been perfect. Yeah. It would have made the song way better. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, it would have. All right. Next album, we have, um... The Eminem Show. The Eminem Show. Which is my birth year album. The skits in this one are okay. There's a lot of skits, I think. Yeah. So the first one is the Curtains Up skit. It's literally just Curtains Up. It's just Curtains Up. It's, like, anything in a... It's like a play. That's what yeah. it is. So it's not really a bad skit, it's just what it is. Yeah. It's literally what it is. Um, number two is White America. That song's alright. That song is alright. It's relative to its time back in 2001. It's a little topical now, yeah. if you think about it. 2002. 2002, Don't want to yeah. get incorrect here. That was the best-selling album of 2002, fun fact. Yep. He was the best-selling That's why it's my artist year album. of almost all time. Yeah. Especially in the early 2000s. Yeah. Um... After that, we got Business. I don't remember that song that much. Um, is. Oh, let's get down to business. Oh, okay. Got no time to play around with this. this. I have to think about this one, because I haven't listened to this one in a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, because this is my first Eminem album. Funny. I think um, you said this is your favorite album? It was, at one point. Oh. Uh. When I when we made music the first music podcast, I hadn't listened to every Eminem album at that point, so uh, I, I could only say that this one was my favorite. Because at that point in time, I've only listened to Eminem show and Slim Shady LP, and you know what? I've grown to like Slim Shady LP more. Yeah, that's why it's my favorite personally. Marshall Mathers is still mine, but I'm a basic bitch, so yeah. I mean, I'm not that far. Behind. After that, business is pretty good. It's a good song. Yeah. Um, after that, it's a uh, clean out my closet, which is. The song where I would say he probably goes in the most on his mom. Yeah. Second. Really? Yeah. What's number one? Oh, okay. All right, we'll get to that one later. <laughs> Might have spoiled it. No, nah, we're good. No, I didn't even say We didn't say anything about it. I know. After that, we got Square Dance. Yeah. So that's a pretty good song. I like that song. It's a diss song. Yeah. It's pretty good. And so is Business. Yeah. A lot of the ones on this, I'm pretty sure, are just disses. I think of more than a few of them, actually. Yeah. Um, it after definitely that, adds up to a few. Um, we have... Um, what's the next one? We have The Kiss, which is... Isn't that a skit? a skit. Okay. I don't remember that too well, for some reason. I don't either. Um, soldier? I'm a soldier. Oh, The Kiss was... Um, 
So, okay, this is relevant to the... This is a thing that happened that he never talked about on record. So back in 2001 or 2002, Kim mm -hmm. was with another guy Ooh. at one point, and, or whoever he was at at that time. Um, and they caught... Eminem caught him, like the guy, uh. like, and they were kissing in a parking lot. And apparently, he talks about it later on the album... Um, the man said that Eminem pulled a gun on him. Oh, but shit. But that's not true. Eminem just punched him in the face. Oh. <laughs> shit, I never even knew that. Yeah, no. Like, the man actually claimed that, like, I don't remember his name, but he claimed that he pulled a gun at him and hit him with the gun, but that's not true. He just punched him. Oh, okay. Um, after, the, it's pretty good. It's a, okay, skit if you understand the context. Okay. Um, that's why I didn't after that... that um, Soldier, which is a great song. It's just him saying, well, people don't believe that I'm the things in my songs, so just come up to me and prove it. Like, Eric it's really like I dare you, song. come up to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I like that one. Um, Say Goodbye to Hollywood. That's the one where he's, like, what is when he's starting to be like, I think I'm not going to be doing this for too much longer because it's just doing a toll on his yeah family life. It was just which too much on It his, was, yeah, which yeah. he talks about later. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty good song. Mm hmm There's two songs I want to talk about. We'll talk about them after Encore, though. Drips. I don't remember Drips at all. Drips is, uh... It's got Obi Trice in it. Oh, I remember that part. And then it's, after that, it's, it's like... It's, uh, it's about sex. That's the song. It's, it's, uh, it's just, like... Um, it's about girls, uh, giving them diseases. Uh, I remember this now. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's okay song. It's alright. It's alright. I don't uh, Obi Trice is okay. Yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of Obi Trice. He's okay. Yeah, he's alright. Um, he didn't go anywhere after one this. One of really. the, I, I would say the most popular song on this album, Without, Without Me. It's a good mm -hmm. song. Yeah, it is a good it's song. Very relevant to its time. Oh, yeah. Um, pretty good song. The My favorite Paul Rosenberg skit. <laughs> Paul Rosenberg. Oh, yeah. The Paul, Paul, the Paul skits? skits? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's... You threw me off with the Rosenberg thing. Oh, uh, wait, no, not Paul Rosenberg. No, I, I don't remember this one. Is it a is Paul it the one where he's just like, fuck it. He's like, no, this no, is the one where he's like, like uh, yo, you shouldn't fling your gun around. Oh, yeah, no, that one's good. Yeah. That one's a really good Paul skit. I was thinking about the, uh, we'll get to what I was talking about later. Okay. Sing for the Moment. Very good song. song. My friend Tyler's favorite Eminem song Sing ever. for the Moment. He also mentions the, um... What happened earlier with where he hit the guy? He literally says, "And you're oh, you're full of shit too, Guerrero. This is the fist to hit you." Yeah, the name. Oh, the that makes so much Guerrera. more sense now. Yeah. Shit. Okay. After that, um, Superman. I love that song. Leaps tall hose in a single bound. <laughs> yeah. It's a good rap. It's yeah. A good song. I like the. Uh, I really like this song. Actually, it's good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I used to think it was, like, really underground when I was younger, because mm -hmm. it was. Not many people talked about it. Not many like, people talk about it still. Uh, after that, we got Haley's song. This is the first time he ever tried to sing. I think this song is okay. Yeah. I think it's good. The rap in it is pretty good, too, where he starts his lines in this one. He's good. not a great singer, but it's whatever. He he even I mean, he even says in the song, I'm not I'm not a singer. Yeah, like, so he's not. Like, I don't know how to sing. Out. He did okay, though. Yeah. We'll talk about his bad singing later. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it, it definitely gets you're worse. definitely gonna be like what are you talking about when we get to about Marshall Mathers LP 2 <laughs> um so when the music stops oh wait no the Steve Berman skit in this one this is, is where he shoots this him. is my favorite one he, where he's like he's like what the fuck and he just shoots him he's like oh it's great I like it wow <laughs> He's like, this is by far the most, and then he shoots him. He's like, the incredible thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Funny as shit. It's great. Oh, fuck. When the music stops, which is the D12 song for this one. Oh, yeah. I was about to say I don't know that, but then I do remember. It's the this D12. one's pretty good. It's pretty good. After that, we got Say What You Say, which is um, oh, the Dr. Remember. Dre feature. Oh, my God, what yeah. What You Say is What You Say. I like this song a lot. Yeah. I just like Dr. Dre. <laughs> like, that's I, I can Anything tell. with Dr. Dre in it, I'm like, yeah, I like this. Do you like, uh, I Need a Doctor, which is like his newest song that came out like five years ago? I didn't listen to that. Oh, uh, well, it has Eminem in it. 
and a few other people. Oh, okay. And it's like right after recovery came out. Oh, I need a doctor. Yeah, I need a doctor. I was like, I was confused on what you meant by that, but then I realized I just said Dr. Dre. Yeah. Uh, All right. I, no, that's a pretty good song. Confusion awakens. No. It's a good song. Yeah. What his, the next song is probably his second most, like favorite famous song on this album at least. Um, it's it? till I collapse. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, they that's used a great the, song. I. This, I like Nate Dogg a lot, too. Yeah, the first time I heard this song was the Modern Warfare 2 trailer. First time I heard this was, uh, what was that, what was that movie about the robots who fought each other? Max uh, Steel. Pacific Rim? No, Max Steel. The one where they were the boxing robots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the first time I ever heard that. The, the room warmed up to the left. At least mine was badass. Yeah. Mine was Modern Warfare mine 2 was trailers. Shitty. That movie is mediocre. Yeah. And we'll talk about that in a different podcast. Yeah, a different podcast. <laughs> a whole different show, not that one show. Yeah. Fuck Eric's, When we send this to Eric, he's gonna be like, what the fuck? It's like four hours long. And where's the where's the video? It's all we're audio. On the third, we're on the third album, and we're 30 minutes in. We gotta speed this up. No, nah, it's fine. It can be as long as we want it to be. All Fuck right, up. after that, my dad's gone crazy. My dad's gone crazy. That's a good song. That's the only song she actually makes a cameo in, yeah. unless you count 97. Haley counts it. Ride. Yeah, Haley gets a cameo in it. Yeah. It's a nice song. I like that song. Mm-hmm. I thought it was funny as shit when I first heard it. Yeah. It's also he, where he mentions, I think this is the first time he ever mentions the death of Ronnie, which is his um, his uh, brother, or... Yeah. Well, no, he mentioned it in Stan. Yes, he did, yeah. Mm. Never mind, I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. We didn't talk about Stan. We were just like, just go listen to it. I mean, I still feel that way. Yeah. We can't talk about Stan. Like, there's no way yeah, we there's can no explain just, it in words. Yeah. Like, you just have to listen to it. Mm-hmm. After that, we just get the curtains closed, which is, again... Uh, that's exactly a Ken Kniff skit. Oh, yeah, there is a Ken that, Kniff. That's the, yeah, Ken Kniff comes at the end of this one, and he starts uh, singing... Um, this is when the Ken Kniff skits went from, like, weird shit to, to like... funny. To literally just satirizing his own songs. Yeah. And he makes a, he's like, without me, but it's, um, rub my back, rub my (laughs) back, rub my back, (laughs) rub my back. (laughs) That's a good one. That's a good one. And that's uh, That's the Eminem Eminem, show. Eminem show. I give that album a 9 out of 10. I give this one a 7 out of 10. Really? Yeah. There's a few songs that I think are pretty forgettable on this one. That is true. That I just don't really remember that much. There was a lot of songs on here, I'm like... I don't remember this. I mean, the songs are good. This is still when Eminem was really good. Yeah. Like, this... I have to say... Here's the thing. After these first three albums, we're getting a little downhill after this. Yeah. Just a little bit. We're gonna go up a little bit, and people are gonna get mad at us. But you know what? We're just gonna ignore them, because fuck them. (laughs) Normies re... All right, here's the first one that we can actually say is somewhat, somewhat shitty. I it's, don't know any it's songs okay. on this album, really. I mean, it's it's Encore. Okay. It's an okay album. Encore is pretty good, so I might have to put more input in than this one, because I've listened to this one more. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take over reading on real. We get our curtains up again. It's, it's literally a sequel to Eminem's show. Yeah, this album is, like, just a sequel. First song, Evil Deeds. It's okay. I don't know that song. It's okay. Okay. It's about um, his mom. And his, he just talks about his mom and his dad a little bit. Oh, okay. His Oh, for people who don't know, wife. his dad actually died this year. Really? Yeah, his dad actually died this year. Damn. I I don't I don't think he really responded to it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have. If I was I don't him, think he I wouldn't. wouldn't have, I don't think he would. I don't even think he said anything about it. He's gets very negative towards his father, especially in Cleaning Out My Closet, where he's... Yeah. He does that in Clean Out My Closet and... um. Especially later. He talks about it a little more Is later. It later? Yeah. Oh. Well, especially when we get to MP2. Oh, okay. Um, oh, Evil Deeds is okay. This is where, uh... This is where we, where we get to the shit. Oh? Anything with 50 Cent in it, I don't like. Oh, you don't... Wait, I do don't, you like 50 Cent in general? I or? don't like 50 Cent in general, so what? I guess my opinion is invalid. Oh. He has one okay song, and it's Pimp. <laughs> I like Wankster. <laughs> I don't like it, 50 Cent that much. He's really not that good. Compared to all of his, like... Like, all the people he, like, is with, he's the least talented out of all of them. That's out of Eminem, Literally, out of everybody he's in with this album, you can tell me that everybody's better than him. 
50 Cent and Nate Dogg and Eminem. Who is the worst? 50 Cent. <laughs> Out of Obi Trice, Status Quo, and 50 Cent. I you don't, don't know who those people are. I know. But you know Obi what? Trice. I'm gonna say it. I like Obi Trice a little bit more than Emin- and then Fifty Cent. So you know what? You can go fuck yourself. Damn, dude. <laughs> My mom would be triggered as fuck. She likes Fifty Cent. <laughs> I like Fifty Cent. Anyways, it's okay. It's it's an okay. It's, it's really okay. not. It's not that good. Uh, have you heard the new song with Eminem and Fifty Cent in it? With it's by, fuck the ginger guy Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't hear that. 50 Cent's part was really shit. I don't like... That song was not even... 50 Cent isn't that good! That song wasn't even that great. Yeah. After that, we have Yellow Brick Road. That's a good song. This is a good song. It's about his childhood and basically how he became obsessed with rap in the first place. And then in the last verse or so, he apologizes for, like, a few songs he made way back. Yeah, he made a few songs way back that were, like, guess controversial. He said a few things that, uh... He shouldn't have said. He shouldn't have said. Like... I've heard one of the songs. He said something like... Foolish Pride is his... Didn't he say something like, that's why you shouldn't... Like, it's something about a black girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I'll talk about this mess real quick. with a black girl. I know about this. So, his song, he had a song way back in like 1989 or something like that, when he was like 19 or something. He had a song called Foolish Pride. It's so shitty, even back then, I'd say. But in that song, he says like, don't date black girls, they'll take your money. And there's a reason he said that. It's because he was trying to... He got with a black girl because his girl, Kim, of course... He talked to... Yeah, no, this is what Yellow Brick Road is about. Yeah, she was... Basically... She was seeing another guy, and then he's all like, I'm gonna get with this black girl. Then she cheated on him, so he yeah. made a song about her saying that they just take your money and shit, and they leave you. Yeah, and he, it, the thing is, he said it more like black girls. He didn't really just talk about one individual in particular mm-hmm. so that's why everybody took it in a wrong way yeah and i understand it a little bit but yeah because like, that song i wouldn't say a little man. bit i do understand why people got mad at him yeah especially being the only white rapper that was really popular at the time i can understand why people were a little skeptical about even like, though he said that like 10 yeah. years over 10 years ago at that point yeah and he apologizes about it in this song so yeah. it's like it's and then he's like uh he said something like and for that, I apologize, because it doesn't matter what color a girl is, she's still a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> After that, we have Like Toy Soldiers, one of the best songs on this album. Yeah, that's um, a good-ass song. For some fucking reason, it's like five years too late. <laughs> is he that's finally a lot of things on this a, album, like, it's just too late. He talks about Tupac and his death, and he talks about his beef with rappers in the past and how yeah. it affected other rappers and... Uh huh. Part of his crew. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's a good song. Of oh, some spooky. And at the boys. end, he gives a little, like a little homage to Tupac and Biggie and uh, yeah, Easy. Um. After that, we have Mosh. I don't know this. I don't, song. I don't like this song. No. Just another like. The White House is bad. Oh. It's like one of those. It's like White America, but. It's worse. Not as good. Alright. Yeah. Next! Next. Puke. I don't like this song. I don't know what that is. It's a song about Kim and how he saw, he just talks about, like, oh, whenever I think of you, I puke. Boo. And then there's actual puking noises in the song. Ah, uh, thought so. And then, and then, uh, she talks about, like, oh, I think, like, he has one okay line. He was like, uh, I have a tattoo named Kim on my chest, so the next girl I'm gonna have to date is gonna be Kim or something like. I was like, that's why I don't understand. Uh, it's okay. I don't really like never, that, song that much. Life advice for anyone watching or listening: never, never get a tattoo, get a tattoo with someone of your in a relationship. Uh, yeah, someone you're with, even, even if, if you're married. Yeah, never. You do never that. know what's gonna happen. <laughs> or and if you're gonna do it, get it after they die or something, so at least it has more meaning. Yeah. Although, you know, even that... No, nah, you can do no, it. No, and you if they're dead, it. like, yeah. That's I fair enough, that. yeah. After that, we have my first single. I don't remember a, that one either. It's a, it's okay. It's not... Okay. The beat is interesting. Oh, uh, okay. It's like, uh... I don't really know how to explain it. You just have to hear it. Oh, uh, okay. It's an interesting beat. It's it's okay song. He's a few okay lines in it and stuff. Okay. Rain Man. He talks about, um... It's okay talks about uh christopher reeves oh is after, this the first after song superman after superman christopher reeves said something about eminem like 
because mm-hmm. Christopher Reeves was Superman. He was yeah. the first Superman, so like he yeah. was like you shouldn't you shouldn't be wearing that suit or something like that. It was something stupid yeah. like that. Which he mentions in another album, which we'll talk yeah. about later. Um, after that, we have Big Weenie. Oh my god! This song I think this song is hilarious, but it's bad. I know it's so bad. Dumb. Look, I know it's bad, it's AJ, but it's so funny as fuck. Stupid, dude. <laughs> you're just because you're just a big weenie. Kill yourself. It's just so. It's. Is it one it's of those? What do you so, think it is? Like it's so bad, it. it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After that, we actually got um, the first skit, which is um, M calls Paul. And it was from, it's actually a reply from the last Paul skit, where he was like, don't shoot your gun off. Oh, yeah. And he was like, but in this one, he's like, and no, I don't have a new gun. And he's like, he has like this robot synthesizer thing. <laughs> and at the end of the skit, you find out he's on the toilet. Ah. Yeah. Then after that, it's just lose it. That song's just funny. Da, 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 da. That's where he takes a stab at Michael Jackson. Stab at Michael Jackson, stab at Pee Wee Herman. He did a stab at Pee Wee Herman in that yeah. song? Oh, sure. Uh, oh, that, yeah. that entire thing? I yeah. thought, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about um, that. After that, Ass Like That. That's also not a good song. That's not that good of a song. Unless you're watching the music video with it, then it's fucking hilarious. It's such a bad song. Unless you're watching... Yeah, I'll say it's a bad song. But if you have the music video, the music video is actually pretty funny. Uh, okay. I don't know if you've seen the music video before. I have not. Um, after that, we have Spend Some Time. I don't know that one. I don't, this one's... Oh, I don't really like this one. I don't know at all. I don't like this one. It's got Obi Trice and 50 Cent in it, so you already know how I feel about all this right. song. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Mockingbird after that. Great song. Great song. It's the one of the... It's just a, about his daughters. That's it. Yeah. Pretty much it. Um, it's a great song. It's like the song Crazy that every dad love. would love to make for their parent, their yeah. kid. Crazy... Crazy in Love, he does. He samples. Um, he samples a heart song. I want to go crazy for you. Oh, that one, yeah. You go crazy, crazy. Yeah, he samples that. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's just him talking about love with whoever he was at with after Kim. I'm pretty sure. I don't. Know. I don't know. Some don't rapper know. chick. <laughs> Christina Aguilera. I don't even know. I don't even know who the song is about, but it is like. Um, just relationship problems again. Dang, which is all, a lot of we've all stuff. been there. After that, probably my favorite D12 song, uh, One Shot, Two Shot. Ooh. I actually like this one a lot. I don't know why. There's something about this song that I like a lot. Okay. It's, uh, it's just about um, him and D12, they're about to perform, and like all of a sudden in the club, somebody starts firing shots, and like they're trying to figure out who it is, and like... <laughs> They're all, they're like calling each other and they're all freaking out and panicking. And then at the end of the song, it's one of the members from D12 who st- started shooting in the first place. <laughs> That's a good was, song. Uh, I, I don't remember who it was. Um, One of them was, uh, he said something about, like, he was on the phone with one of them. And he was like, oh shit, what was that? He was like, I just got hit in the back. He was like, with a car? Nah, with a gat. <laughs> <laughs> with a gat. And he's like, nah, nah, just hit a pole. <laughs> It's funny. I, I like that one. It's just good. I think it's a good song. After that, we have Final Thought, which is a skit. I, it's the one where he walks on stage and everybody's screaming his name. Ah. Oh. Um. After that, it's Encore. So it's, it's okay. Mm. It's got Dr. Dre in it. I like Dr. Dre. Mm. Dr. Dre is good in this song. Eminem's good in this song. Yeah. Fifty Cent. He's Fifty Cent. Oh, okay. <laughs> After that, we have the bonus CDs. All the fucking bonuses on this song suck. Every single one of them. They're short, and they're stupid. Damn. I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> I, before, I'm just saying, I, I don't really like them that much. And before we move on to the next album, there's three songs that we should mention. They were either singles or, like, exclusive to other things. One of them is Shake That. Yes. Featuring the last song he did with Nate, with Dog, Nate Dog before Dog. he died. Yeah, and um, the other one is... The biggest, one of the, probably his most famous song of all time. One of them, at least. Just Lose It. No. <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> no, not Just Lose It. You're an idiot. Lose Yourself. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, wait, four songs that I want to talk Lose about. Lose Yourself is Lose, probably. Lose Yourself came out before this. Lose Yourself is 
probably the biggest. We forgot to talk about Lose Yourself. I completely forgot about that By the way, Lose Yourself is the most Overrated. It is definitely the most popular, though. Oh, his most popular. It's a little overrated, but it's still good. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm not going to say it's a bad song. I would never it's call good, it a bad song. It's a good song, song. but it's, it's, a, o- it's overrated as fuck. Yeah, I hear it too much. Yeah. All right, so the third song, this is, came out after Encore. We're actually making really good time. We just went through what? One, two, three, four. four albums six. and one EP? No, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. six we can't lose our streak. Six, five albums and one EP in, like, under an hour. We're wow. Okay. What after this. Oh, we can't lose our streak. So what would you rate Encore? Oh shit, I forgot to send streaks. Oh, Seth no. just reminded me to send streaks. Holy shit. So, um, I give Encore a 6 out of 10. I get a 5 out of 10, honestly. It's just. Yeah, it's around that range. It's really not that good. There's Holy a few shit. things worth listening. It's This is when Eminem started to fall off in popularity. Yeah. That's... After Eminem's show, he kind of just started losing popularity. Yeah. Wow, thank you, Seth. I almost forgot to send them. Alright. I think AJ told me this is his favorite album. Well, no, that's not what Second I Second favorite. Well, uh, there's still two songs I want to talk about. Because this distracted me. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. One of them was a single in 2005, and I love this song, and that's When I'm Gone. Oh, yeah, that's a great song. And then there's one more song. Uh, when I'm Gone. Me and AJ don't like. <laughs> I don't like this song. But anyways, no, I want to mention When I'm Gone, one thing about it. Um, it's another song, like, his daughter complaining about how he's always traveling and shit. That's the song I mentioned earlier. Yeah. It's such a good song. Yeah, I know, it's a good song. Mm-hmm. Alright, anyways, the last song, it appear. I think it's only exclusive it's to... It's exclusive to Curtain Call. Which is a greatest hits album. And this song is not a great hit. It is so it, bad. It's fack. It's fack. 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 <laughs> it's bad. It's really it's bad. It's a bad song. It's not even bad, it's good. It's just like so stupid. I cringe whenever I hear that song. Alright, like... right, I'll read this album. And then I'll read the next two, then you can go back to it. Cool. Alright, so this album is Relapse, which is I like this album. Underrated as yeah. fuck, I gotta say. Probably this is... is where we're gonna start losing some people. Yeah. This is where the I think you already lost everybody when you said fifty cent was trash. Yeah, but um, this is where we're really gonna lose the Eminem fans. Yeah, yeah. What is that? You? Huh? Is that just you? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Lydia's got shoes to show us. You can't. Yeah, they're the same shoes, but. Four twenty. Stephen Drew. Just please. And this is a deer. I drew a oh. deer. Are right, you heading up? To bed? No. Or do you want to put your input in? I wanna. Last? I wanna be here. You wanna join the podcast? Yeah. She's gonna have no idea what the fuck we're talking about, but we'll. She knows it. Eminem. We're already past the popular albums though, so I don't know how much she can add. Let's just continue. All right. Until she comes back. <laughs> okay, so first track. Well, it's a skit. Doctor West. I kind of like this skit. That one's it's okay. It's interesting. It's the first one where he really is. <coughs> This is <laughs> this album, by the way, came out in two thousand nine, <laughs> five years after Encore. So, yes, because he had a drug overdose. He had a big shit. hiatus. Yeah, a lot of shit happened. Proof died. And most he of had this album hiatus. is about his drug problem. Yeah, and this is the one that really like this, proves that this is what this album is about. Looking at the cover, it's literally his face, but it's drugs. Yeah. Okay. Now three a.m. A lot of these songs are very controversial for what I'm about to say. But I like a lot of these songs. I like a lot of these songs, 3 too. 3 a.m., I think, is very... It's a prequel to Framed, by the way, which is on Revival. Yeah. And I really like 3 a.m. I like 3 a.m., too. It's pretty much about him, like, uncontrollably killing people. Mm-hmm. Which, again, is what Frame's about, but that's him being like, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yep. And then, my mom... I... This is the one where he's... This is probably one of his more controversial ones. Yeah. And this is the one where he goes in hardest on his mom, I yeah. would say. A lot of people don't like this album because of this accent he has for a big majority of it. It, doesn't, it didn't bug me too much. It doesn't much. bother me. Some songs, it's worse than It gets than annoying. It, yeah, it gets annoying too in some songs, but, but it's still pretty But a lot good. of these songs, I think it works with. I... I think that this song is pretty good. He just talks about how his mom fed him drugs when he was little. Yeah. And that's why he's addicted to them now. Yeah. And then, my, you know Ethan, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he likes this song a lot. I yeah. I don't know why. I like that song. Uh, now, number four, this is 
This is how you know me and my one son friends are good friends. This is our anthem. It's insane. I like the song. <laughs> it's really so, fucked up. It's like so bad. It's it's really it's great. It's uh it's a okay song. It's it's really fucked up. It's his it's step, really him and his stepfather up. doing some very questionable things. Yes. That's all I can really say. All right, number five, bagpipes from Baghdad. It's a good song. Yeah. I actually like this song. I don't know why. I like this song, too. Yeah, the next song I also really like, it's one of my favorites on the album, is Hello. It's like, Hello. Hello. Well, I need to introduce. It's such a catchy intro. I like, this one is just him being like, oh, I haven't seen you guys for a long yeah, time. Yeah, what's been up? a hiatus. Yeah. Now, this is another disturbing thing, the Tanya skit. Yeah, this one. Which is when cool. he picks up the girl and literally kidnaps her. Yeah. This is, the next song is... Very is, reflective of it. Yeah. Same song and dance, which is a... I really like this song, too, honestly. It's, I know how fucked up it is, but... He's raping somebody. He's literally... Yeah. It's like, damn, dude. And now this is probably the most popular one on this album. That's We Made You. We Made You is really good. I like that song. Yeah. Can I see some? Who... Is that actually who I think it is on the... Who is the feature for that song? Is it actually who he says it is in the Jessica song? Jessica Simpson? Is it actually I Jessica think it might be. Okay. It doesn't say it on here, though. Yeah, it doesn't say it on the disc. I was never sure if it actually was Jessica Simpson. I think it is. It's a good song. Yeah, it is. Now, Medicine Ball is another one where he starts coming at everyone, especially Christopher Reeves, even though he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> at this point, he's dead. So Yeah, he's dead just, at this point. And you know why we know that? Even if you didn't know that, the next skit is a Paul skit where he's like, I quit. You're making fun of Christopher Reeves, dude? He's fucking dead. And then he's just like, I can't do this <laughs> I anymore. I can't do this anymore. You're on your own. And that's the last Paul skit we get. Yeah. For a long for time. For a long time. For, actually... All, one, all the way up until... Three more albums. Yeah. Kamikaze <laughs> is like the last one. Are we going to talk about Revival? Because we don't have a disc for it. I think we we'll should talk, talk about, about it. it. Okay, so Stay Wide Awake, that's a, another song that I really Trust like. Trust me, AJ, I have plenty to talk about on Revival. That's where we're going to be oh spending boy. most of our time oh boy. ripping into shit. Oh, boy. This I'm going to bring up lyrics for that one. This is already our longest once podcast. We get, no, once we get to Revival and Marshall Mathers L2, this is where I bring up lyrics. Because uh, this is where he starts writing some really bad shit. <laughs> well, I think this is, a funny enough, our longest podcast we've ever done. Yeah. And it's an audio one, so... It's because we have something to actually talk about. That's why it's going so well. Alright, what's next? Uh, Old Time Sake, which is a feature with Dr. Dre. I like this one. Yeah. So, so one more time. Oh, that one's pretty good. Even Dre's got a good part in this Dre one. Dre does got a good part on that song. Yeah, I think this... He says my favorite line ever. What? If at first you don't succeed, it won't hurt to smoke some weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. And then he's like... But that's just a little more personal to me. <laughs> Something yeah. like that. I, I like that line. Next just because the, that's what Dr. Dre's albums are. You, yeah. He does talk about That's like a thing with him and his weed. Yeah. The next song is, honestly, I think it's the weakest song on here. Is Must Be the Ganja. Yeah. yeah I think it's kind of weak. Watching You're watching t Can you at least keep the volume low, little person? I'll watch YouTube. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Next is a skit, Mr. Mathers, which is them bring, trying to bring him back to life, but he's dead because of the drug overdose. Yes, he, he did a do that. He did a do that. He did a do that. And this song, people say, is like, what's it called? One of his best songs he's released in the like the past ten years or so, and that's Deja Vu, which is a song where he talks about his drug overdose yeah. and shit. Where's my fucking phone? I don't know. You put it right here, dumbass. Where's my jewel? Julio. What's next? Beautiful. I love this song, by the way. Yeah, I like It's that really song. deep. That's a good song. That's a really good song, mm -hmm. I think. It's, it's, it's probably... It's one of the longest Yeah, songs. it's probably one of my favorites on that whole album, I would say. Me too. Now, next is Crack a Bottle, featuring Dr. Dre and 50 Cent. It's got, yeah, it's got... Everybody does okay in this song. Yeah. Which... 50 makes Cent is... He's better in this song. I think he's a little better in this one. His rhymes are a little... A little tighter than usual. He's, he does okay dog. in this song. Alright. Next is... Is this the last... This is the last Steve Berman skit we ever got. And that's the one where he's like... He comes back to apologize to him for shooting him. He's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You shot me! <laughs> and then he gives him two CDs. And he's like, what the fuck? And then we get to the next CD. Now. Well, we're not... The second then, CD. Yep. But next is the last song on the... 
album is Underground. It's a good song. Yeah, it's like... And we get probably my favorite Ken Knifskit next the to the Marshall Mathers LP one. Yeah. The Marshall Mathers LP two one, I mean. Oh. Alright, so... This one's really good. Yeah. This song's good, but at the end he's like... Door, making a parody of a beautiful, not before we, of, uh, we made you. We made you. And then he also talks. He does a parody of um, my mom. My mom. At like the very, very end. He's like, nobody's listening. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's calm down and lots of cum. Damn, where's everybody going? I think relapse gets a. I give it eight, eight, eight out, out, out of ten. ten. I give it for me. Seven out of ten for you. I give it eight out of ten. I think. There's a few songs that are, like, a little... Like, I don't... Here's the thing is, I don't really... F I haven't really forgotten everything on this album. It's just that it's not as memorable as other Eminem songs. That's what I mean. It's like... Yeah. It's a little underground. I didn't I mean... Hate, I, I'm I sorry, AJ. So I didn't much. mean to do that. But, yeah, it is a little, like... Not many people remember this album too well. And because yeah. this is his most critically shamed album... At the time. Uh, at the time. So... You gotta say, like, this is... I Even him, even Eminem himself said he doesn't like this record, and you know what? I don't I like it. I disagree. I think it's... I think it's good. I, I give it a good. 7 out of 10. Yeah, that's good. Now, I'll talk about this album, the next album, and then you can talk about the last three if you want. I want to talk about the bonus tracks for Refill. I forgot about those. They're good. I remembered them from the top of my head. We're only gonna go over the important ones, though. Okay. Because fuck the other ones. Fair enough. They're okay, but like I'm just gonna go over the big ones. Forever. Oh great my song. god, everyone knows that. Everybody song. knows Forever, that's a great song. Yeah, yeah. Drake's in it. Drake, Kanye, Kanye, Lil Wayne, and Eminem. Like literally the four probably, biggest like, rappers yeah, of the time. Yeah. Like that was an insane song when it came out. Mm-hmm. That's a great song. Drake was like brand new at the time. Like um, that, that was Drake's first song. Eminem, Dr. Dre song after that. It's just it's a party song. Uh, it's like a it's like a club song. After that, we get, uh, I think, no, we get Buffalo Bill. It's a very dark song. It's yeah. just him being Buffalo Bill, basically, like, he <laughs> is Buffalo Bill. Yeah. After that, it's, um, my favorite bonus track, and probably my favorite thing to come out of, what is it, um, relapse? come out of Relapse, was, um, Elevator. Oh, really? I really like that song. There once was a thing that I used to say back in the day when I met Trey. <laughs> and he said, there was the, he talks about proof. And oh. this is like the first time he ever really talks about proof. He was like, he says something like. He talks about him a lot more in the next album. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good song. Talking about how he had doubts when he first met Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre was trying to tell him that you might go platinum. And he was like, no, there's no way. He's like, I don't fathom. Yeah. That I'll become that big. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, well, now I have a house with a fucking elevator. Yeah. And so, like, and there's one it was more like six million records about. later. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I want to talk about My Darling, because that's a great song. That's the, one of the bonuses on there. Mm -hmm. Good song. It's a good song. Um, Taking My Ball. It's Taking My Ball. Taking My Ball and Going Home. Uh, it's a him as a kid. Oh, okay. That's basically what the song is, um, him as a kid being bullied as a kid. Oof. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think it's okay. Oh, okay. And next we can move on to... After that, yeah, the, the other features in that one is okay. It's like, the last one is like, drop a bomb on him. Yeah. And Music Box. I don't, yeah. I don't really remember Music Box too well. Okay. It's okay. It's a good song. I remember it a little vaguely. Yeah. It's good. Um, and then drop the bomb on him. It's an okay song. Okay. Now this album right here is the one, first album I ever listened to by Eminem. This is, here's the thing is, I this was the last album I've listened to from him. Oh. And I gotta say, this I've listened to it a few times. It's pretty good. It's very, it is very good. I think it's better yeah, than you're gonna read this one, and then I'll go yeah. back and I'll read the last two. Three. Oh, three, but we don't have the third. We don't have one of them because it's so atrocious that we're not going to go over it yet. Also, because I don't really feel like buying discs online. I'd rather buy the ones I'd want to buy first. Alright. First one, Cold Wind Blows. Good song. It's a good song. He's like, hey, I'm back, everybody. I don't know. And then, uh, talking to Myself, featuring Kobe, not the basketball player. Yeah. He's just talking about how he feels very alone yeah. in his struggle against drugs. Yeah. 
And then number three, On Fire, which I think is a really good song. One of my favorites on this album. Um, I think it's a great song because of the fact that uh, AJ did use this song to diss me. And and I did it as a joke. Yeah, I only it's a it funny... It's a, I think... I really think it's an okay Eminem song, but just because of that, I think it's funny. Every time I hear it, I just can't think of... I only think of the Zach diss whenever I hear that song. You know why I called that video the Zach diss? Be only because I uploaded the Chris diss the exact same day. Yeah. So I'm like, I gotta keep with a theme. So and I just thought, you were like, okay, Zach diss, why the fuck not? Now, number four, Won't Back Down, featuring Pink. This is when he started featuring, like, pop stars. Yeah. Which was a controversial decision, but a lot of his songs... A lot of people didn't like it because they were like, you're not, you're not rap anymore. You're more pop. But the thing is, like, they're not bad songs. Yeah, like, I like Won't Back Down. Won't Back Down is a good song. If you like Pink, it's a really good song. My mom really likes Pink. I like Pink. Yeah, I, and then... No, fuck you. I like Pink. I like Pink. It's awesome. Number five, WTP, which stands for White Trash Party. I don't, I don't really like that it's song right. too much. It's okay. It's okay song. It's just, I don't know. That's his uh club song. Yeah, of the album. He, yeah. he always has one. He always usually does like one or, yeah. Yeah. Now going through changes. I don't remember this one that well. Going through changes. I remember that one. It's, it's a good song. Yeah. It's just him talking about. Again, his battle with the drugs, recovering mm. from it. That's uh, why the nice. song is called Recovery. The album's called Recovery. It's pretty good. I think it's good. Yeah. Number seven, honestly, my favorite song on this album, and that's Not Afraid. I grew up with that song, that's why. That song is pretty, really good. I remember that song, and you know what? Everybody's gonna be like, well, Zach, that's a very obscure reference, but the only, the first time I ever heard that song was on Flip Notes. Really? Yeah. That's funny. I miss flip notes. Bro, gotta make a podcast about flip notes. Eric would totally. Me Eric and Eric, would be me, so Eric down. could you... talk about that for fucking hours. I did not use it as much as you guys did, but. And I can bring my DS in. I still have some of them. I have a few of my own that are really shitty, and I don't think I want to show to anybody, but. I, I made a few myself. Me too. Mostly just me trying to animate a ball bouncing over and over. Let's just not. Let's, oh, we'll wow. talk about flip notes another time. Well, mine have audio, so that's oh. all right. Yeah. Number eight, Seduction. Seduction. That's a good song. Seduction. You gonna steal your bitch. You gonna steal your bitch. Number nine, L No Love featuring Lil this Wayne. This is my favorite song on the album. Really? This is my favorite song. I love Lil Wayne's part in this song. Yeah, it's really his good. His verse so good. Yeah. All right, so number ten, uh, this is another song I really love, is Space Bound. And this is a good song. Yeah, it's so relatable, honestly, because I'm a weirdo. Number 11, Cinderella Man. I like like the feel of that song. Mm -hmm. It's a good song. Mm -hmm. Then you got 25 to Life, which is another good song, I think. I started using that as a joke. What? The 25 to Life thing. Yeah. Uh, was when I was playing a game with uh, my friends, and I... I killed, like, I think we were playing Siege. I was like, okay, I killed Valk. Everybody hang around the Valk. And we took a big, like, screenshot picture of all around him. And I was just like, all right, everybody say 25 to life. And I just <laughs> took a picture. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Okay, uh, so bad. I remember that one. It was like, no. Yeah. I like that song. Yeah, me too. I don't know why. I like that song a lot for some reason. Mm hmm. Um, Almost Famous. Almost Famous. Oh, I remember that one. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. And then 15, this is Love the Way You Lie featuring Rihanna. I like this song a lot. I like it too. This is the first Rihanna feature. This is, this is my mom's favorite Eminem song, by the way. Not my favorite Rihanna feature. You like the other one better? Hmm? You like the other I one like better? the other one a little better. I, I kind of do too. And then 16, You're Never Over. That one's about proof. That one's about proof, and I love that song. Yeah. Now, there is a hidden track, 17. It's not that song untitled. Not, actually. What? Well, You're Never Over? Yeah. yeah. Untitled is just like, haha, bonus track, motherfucker. Yeah. That's yeah. All, that's all I really got. That, that proof song mm -hmm. it just makes me very, very sad. Yeah. It's like, damn, dude. Alright, that's the end of Recovery. Very good album, by the way. 8 out of 10. For 8 me. out of 10. 8 out of 10 for me. Yeah. 
This is where we've definitely lost all this credibility. This is where the people are gonna shit on me, because you know what? Time I'm to about to go, fucking. I'm about to talk a bunch of shit on this album. I'm about to go berserk. I'm about to it. go berserk on this album. I'll see myself out. Yeah, I'm gonna leave too. This video is over, guys. The jokes are too bad. No, let's keep going. Eric's gonna watch this whole fucking thing. Or yeah, he's not gonna watch it. He's gonna be. He's not even gonna see this point. And if he does. Eric, I want you to comment something if you've seen this point in the video. Comment flapjacks. Yeah. See? That's like something There's, you would never think of. Nobody is going to see flapjacks in the fucking comment section because he's not going to watch this whole video. I just, well, he, there's no way. If he does, he'll probably like throw it on while doing something else. Yeah. Because that's probably the It best is thing audio, ever. though, so like, it's, it's just not audio. Be too bad. So they'll just throw it on when doing something. So, uh. Marsh Mothers 2, 2013. Marshall Mothers I like this album. This came out when I was in middle school. There's a few school. songs in here that I'm about to rip into that some people like. Oh boy. So the first song is uh, "Bad Guy," which is the sequel to "Stan." It's a. It's not it's bad. It's an okay song. This yeah. one's in the point of view of Stan's brother, and we can't really talk start, about this yeah. one because we don't want to spoil what happened in Stan. Yeah. Basically. Even um, though everyone should know. So basically, this time. His brother does something to Eminem that happened in the first song. So go listen to the first song and then listen to this one and you'll get it. Even though this one isn't as good as Stan, and it's still you can't okay. capture that again. Dude. It's still pretty good, I'll say. Yeah. And in this one he talks about he talks about um I guess he basically disses himself. He's just talking about all his problems. And yeah. Talking about how he's getting old and Mhm. Mm um, after that, there's the parking lot skit, which is actually a continuation of Criminal. Yeah. When he's running away from from the bank. Mm hmm And then it's him in the parking lot, and he shoots himself at the end of it. Oh, yeah. After, after this, there's Rhyme or Reason. This one, he goes hard on his dad in this one. Oh, yeah. yeah he, he goes... This is an okay... He, there's a few corny lines in this one. Yeah. Uh. The, it's it's okay song though. Mm. There's a lot of fucking bad lines. Of, uh, there's a few bad lines in this album. Yeah. Um, Rhyme or Reason has. It's an okay song. It's okay. an okay song. Um, so much better. Pretty good. It's okay. Yes. It's. I don't really remember it too well, but I I know what it is. But like, it's okay. Oh okay. After that, there's survival. I don't like this song. What? I don't like the chorus. Why not? I like the verses. I like Eminem's lines in it, but like you don't like the chorus. He goes, he goes in really good on this song, but like I don't like the chorus and the like the background music and stuff. Oh, I don't uh, know. You know what? I will say this: it's the best thing to come out of Call of Duty Ghosts. You're not wrong. See, I think it's a it's an okay song. song. It's just I'm. It was over problem with the background music, and it, it was definitely overplayed. It was really. It was overplayed. also. He, he, there's a few bad lines on this one that I don't really like. Yeah. He's like, wiping my, wiping my, my butt. butt while I'm stabbing myself with it in the knife in the gut. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of corny, but still. Yeah. Legacy. I really like this song, Ooh. but he does have a few bad lines in this song. Ah. I like the I like most of this song though. Yeah. He says something about flying saucers and Italian sausage. <laughs> it was really weird. Parts that I used to find in the garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Eminem starts doing this thing where... I mean, he's always kind of done it, where he kind of just says things that try and make them rhyme. That's what I meant by orange juice. Yeah. When I said that earlier. <coughs> Alright, after that we have... Asshole. Everybody That's... knows yeah, that I you're know. just an asshole. Yeah, no one's. It's okay. Yeah, it's an okay song. He talks about uh, he has he has one line that I actually really like. He was like, ninety nine problems, but a bitch ain't one. She's all ninety nine of them. I need a machine gun or something like. That. <laughs> I like that one. Dang, shout out to Jay Z. Yeah. Oh boy. After that, this is where people are gonna shit on me. Oh no. I don't like Berserk. I thought you used to like it. I don't like Berserk. You don't like it? I don't like Berserk. Why not? It's not that good. Oh, it's... Got a lot of bad lines in this one. 
Uh, well, a lot of bad ones. Oh, it's not that good, AJ. It's, all, it's okay. It's it's okay. Like that. I think that this is a like if I'm at a party, this is a lit song. That's if what I'm I meant. really getting down to this song. Like this is a fun dancing song. Like if you're getting down, yeah, this song is great. But like. When you really, when you're sitting in your car making a pizza delivery and you're listening to this, it's really not that good. Like if uh, you really listen to this song, he says a lot. Of, he, there's a there's a few bad lines. He makes one joke that I really like. He makes a Ren and Stimpy joke. Yeah. He was like uh, MC Ren, but he was like relating MC Ren to Ren from Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. I like that. That was funny. <laughs> no, I don't like that song. Rap God. What else do we need to say? Everyone knows this song, too. It's okay. It was definitely better back People then. People aren't gonna like me for that. I just, I just, like, it's okay. It's not a bad song. I like... It drops a lot really of like. references. A lot of shade, oh, too. A lot. lot of shade. Yeah. Towards JJ Fad. Holy shit. Nobody knows who JJ Fad is at this point, though. Everybody... Here's the thing. Not many people know this... But his big rap god part where he does the fast rap, that's not his lines. He didn't write that. Mm -hmm. That's all from a song that J.J. Fad did. And J.J. Fad originally created that song, but J.J. Fad was talking some mad shit, apparently. Eminem had to sh teach him a lesson. So he said it way faster so than he, he just, ever could. Yeah, so she just they rapped it way faster than they could. Mm -hmm. Also, J.J. Fad was an all-female group. Yeah. Like Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. Uh, sh sh yeah. What's it called? Salt and Pepper is the best female rapper of all time. Rappers. No, um, I can fucking. You want to go, boy? Oh boy. You want to go, boy? Let me pull out 2001. I already um, got a bunch of shit for saying wanna, that. You, you don't need to go, boy. What are you? You dissing on my girl? What is her name? Fuck, I can't even remember her name. It's probably not a good idea. Like, I'm just like, I'm saying like you're gay, but I don't even know the name of the person. He's doing good. Good job. Um, um, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Miss Rack, Rock, Miss, she's really good in this song, okay? Okay. I'm not, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just being I already needlessly aggressive. We already lost all of our subscribers by me saying, um, Salt and Pepper are the best female rappers. I agree with you. There's not many To a certain ones. extent. That's not saying good. women can't That's because rap, there's not that many not out there. That is true. There isn't as many. What? What? Who's fucking contesting them? Nicki Minaj. She's so for real. She's really not that great. She's not. I will say this. She's no. She's better than Cardi B. Fucking. Oh. Don't even get me. Started Moving on, Cardi, dude. Like we'll talk music three. Music, dude, I'm gonna go hard on some no, people. No, no music two. We because this is just about Eminem. Yeah, okay, we're yeah. boys. We're trying to get the Eminem stuff out of the way. So we don't ever, ever we have, don't to, have talk to talk about, about, it, about again, it again. Unless it's like a new song or something. Oh uh, yeah, unless. We're gonna have to do a follow-up video where it's the album if he releases a new one. Yeah. Except we'll like, go into detail on songs. Yeah. All right, we stopped at. We have Brainless next. I don't really like this song. Yeah, it's not that great. It's not that great. He has some. What's the one with Kendrick in it? Is that coming up? No, we got a little further. Oh. Hold, okay. hold your horses. My bad. Hold them horses. My bad. Where's your fucking horse? You better be holding them horses. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Stronger than I was. I don't really like this song either. Yeah. Uh, after that, this is where the album is pretty much good from now here on out. Like, every other song after this, I'd say, is really good. Yeah. After that, we have, um, The Monster. Great, it's a great song. Everybody knows this one. It's just, it's the, one of the most popular songs off this album, I would say. Oh, yeah. I'd say it's second to uh, Rap God. I would say it's a little more popular than Rap God. It was definitely played a lot more. That's because it's more radio friendly. Yeah, that's why. Um, after that, by the way, Monster's just a good song. That's it is. I'll just good say song. it's a good song. So far, I love this song. I love His that samples. So um, Joe Walsh's Joe life's Walsh's been good. Joe Walsh's been good. He's just talking about again. It's a lot like um the way I am. He's just talking about fans harassing him in public and yeah. just talking about um. Just getting older. I went to Burger King. They spit on my onion rings. I think my karma's catching up to me. I love yeah, that line. He's like, he's just talking about how, he's just talking about, makes references to his old LPs and yeah. I like it. It's a good song. That cover was so highly. Oh, popular. by the way, also the same thing. Rhyme or Reason is also a um, 
they have um, they sample time of the seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it? After that is the Kendrick Lamar cover feature, which I love. Yeah, I love this song. It's called Love Song. They need to do more songs where together. I I just figured out what this song is like really. So it's like I don't know. It's Eminem is like finds this girl and like they mm-hmm. go out with each other. Yeah. And then there was that part where like she's sucking his dick. Yeah. And like and then after that Lamar walks in on them. Oh. And then then he starts rapping and then like uh this is a great song. Yeah. And then Lamar has a great part in it. Eminem has a really good lines at the beginning and end of this song. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a few bad ones in this. There's a few really oh. weird lines on this one, but I like yeah. it. Oh, okay. Um, headlights. I love Ooh, this song. That's a good song. This is the. F- this is um. Basically, this is the part where he apologizes to his mother. Basically. Yeah, because he's like, he I'm was sorry just for like, I'm sorry shit. for all the shit I said in the past, and just saying how mm-hmm. he was like. It's just a good song. That's the last time he ever talks about his mom. Yeah. For the most part. For the um, yeah, basically, yeah. pretty much. That's pretty much it. It's a, it's a good song. It is a good song. I like that song a lot actually. But um, after that we have Evil Twin, which is also a good song. That is a good song. It's uh, Evil Twin is a good song. That is definitely an underrated song on that album. Mhm. Yeah, this game, this this game, this CD is pretty good. Yeah. Wait, we didn't talk about the Ken Kniff thing at the end of the album. Oh, there is a Ken Kniff skit at the end of the album that's really funny What's where he makes the fun end of, of Berserk. Is that the end of Evil Twin? I think... No, it's on... I'm pretty sure it's on Marshall Mathers LP 2 Deluxe. Oh. Or, like, whatever the... I think it's a bonus track or something. Oh, okay. But, um, he's just, like... He makes a Berserk. Like Yeah, he just funny. parodies Berserk. And that is also, unfortunately, the last of the Ken Kniff skits as yep. of right now. Yep. So what would you give this album? I'd say it's like a 6 out of 10. I'd give it a 7 out of six 10. 6 to 7, yeah, that's fair enough. I, this next album, we don't... You we don't, um, so I'm just going to look it uh, up. Alright, you look it up, okay. Now, I will also lose credibility, because there's songs on here I like that I know other people don't. There's one song on this album that I like. I will, whatever. One song. Whatever. When you look up Revival... Never mind, hold on. There we go. What's what's wrong? What, did something else come up? Okay, here it's we go. Revival, I don't remember this album too well because I listened to it twice and then never listened to it again. Give it, it one back more. when it came out. Oh, okay. So you listen to it the second time. Please let it just be a bad first impression. No. Okay. I was like that whole time. The first time I listened to it, I was like, I feel like this was pretty bad and then I went back and listened to it the second time and I was like I fucking hate this album <laughs> I fuck it this is horrible uh, well, uh. you're right here we go walk on water AJ go ahead I fucking love this song I don't care what anybody says I don't care how poppy it is I don't care if the beats just piano that's what makes it good okay I think it's a powerful message about how your insecurities you should just be able to talk about them. I like I like And that. showing that he's not a god like everyone perceives him as. Yeah. What's so wrong about me liking that? See, I like that, but it's I just I don't know. I just didn't expect this to be the first song in this album. That is true. And it also the fact that it was a single before the album even came out was even that's what kind of like Originally, I was like, I don't think this album's gonna be too good. After I heard that, I was like, I don't know about this album. Not yeah. sure. Well, he had a song in 2016 to preview this album called Campaign Speech, or something like that. It's like Election yeah. or something. I forget what it's called. It was his freestyle, right? It's his longest song. It's like seven minutes, but it's him freestyling about... Trump. Well, not just Trump, but like whatever else. Politics, Pol- it's po- It's an okay political song. After that, we have Believe. I don't even fucking remember this I one. don't know what Believe is at all. Yeah, it was probably bad. I have to listen to the album again. Chloroseptic. I didn't like this song. I didn't like that song really either. Untouchable. I don't like this song. <laughs> I don't like this song at all. Well, we're doing good. I don't like this. This is the worst song in this album. Really? This is one of the worst songs on this album. I already have one, one of favorite. I gotta tell you which one is the worst one, and I'll shit on that one when I get to it. Okay. River. Like... Everybody loves this fucking song. It's okay. I don't understand. It's not bad. I don't it's really nothing like special. 
Oh, you don't like Ed Sheeran? I don't like Ed Sheeran that much. He's I kind of okay. like him. He's my ginger boy. All right. After that, we got Remind Me. I don't really like that song that much. Yeah. It's it's not that good. It's then we uh, like Home. I fucking hate that song. I don't like that song either. I don't like that song either. I it's really don't like that song. Tragic Endings. Isn't that like the that. one where he talks about like all the black violence? Or is no, that, oh, that was that's not in it. The album. That's later in the album. Oh, it's later. Okay. Oh, this uh, this list isn't like in correct order. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. It doesn't matter really. Yeah. Tragic endings. I don't really like that one. It's got Skylar Gray as the feature. Oh yeah. She has um, a better feature in a different song. After that is my favorite song on the album. The, what I think is the only good one. I framed? honestly is framed. Yeah. Well, some people don't like it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's got a sound to what he used to be doing. I think it's... It sounds very similar to something you would hear off Relapse. And I, I don't like that. I mean, bit. it's literally a sequel to 3AM. It's literally just a sequel to 3AM. So, like, it's pretty good. I like mm-hmm. that. Um, I think that's the one... It sounds the best on that album. I think that's the best sounding song. Yeah. After that, we have... Um, Nowhere, Fast... I don't remember that one. I don't know what that is. There's Heat. Is that the feature? I don't remember that one. Oh, that's a... Oh, shit, that's a song. God damn it. Oh, okay. Um, Offended is the one with the black violence thing. Oh, okay. I didn't like that song. I think... I didn't like that song either. It's either, it's either Offended or um, Untouchable. I forget which one it is. Yeah. I don't like either of those. This shows we're either. really good with this album. I really... Yeah. D- I don't like this album, though. I listened to it twice, and I was like, this is bad. I list- The last time I listened to it was a few months ago. I think I gotta give it one more try, and if I don't... At least learn about the songs a bit. Mm, they're not that good. I know, but, like, maybe I can find some worth in a few more of them. Maybe. I'll, I'll give it a try. In your head, fuck this song. <sighs> it's not that fuck bad. This song, it's not bro. that bad. They ruined a perfectly good zombie song. I thought you said Bad Wolves did that. They did too. Alright, no. Alright, all right, all right, watch your mouth. I like <laughs> Come that. Come at me, bitches. I really Come like that. Come at me, idiot. I like that. Fuck Bad Wolves. I like that cover. Fuck. I actually like Bad Wolves, but I don't like that cover. Oh, it's, I think it's a good cover. I'm not saying it's a better song than the original, but. I think that the original is way better. I do too, but I think the cover's really good. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same page. You said you didn't like the cover, though. Fuck you. Fuck off. The band's splitting up, everybody. Yay. Ringo over here doesn't like bad wolves. <laughs> I don't like bad wolves. Are you saying that I'm the Ringo? No, that's definitely Seth. Oh, yeah, I was gonna Seth say... Seth is like, definitely the Ringo star of this. I was gonna say, I'm more of like a... You're like a George. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm more Eric's like a Eric's like a John. John's like the... What's his name? Eric is like the one that holds I'm us together. i Paul or a John. I don't, I don't care what you say. Wait, does that mean Amanda's Yoko? Can I be Paul? Sure, why the fuck Hell not? yeah! That means oh. I get banned on the run. Ooh, I'll be George, why not? Uh, Hell yeah, you least, have fun with that. Uh, he had some fun, he had some good songs, My Sweet Lord. Okay, we're getting off topic. Yeah, we're getting on Beatles now. Next, I could go on all day. Next video Beatles. is all Beatles reviews. <laughs> we're not turning into a music review channel. This is just a one-off thing. Yeah. We're just getting it out of the way, because we had nothing to record for this podcast. Well, we're doing an actual podcast tomorrow. Eric, if you're still listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Blue Snowball. Comment that if you got this far. Yeah. There's no way there's going to be a Blue Snowball in that fucking comment <laughs> section. <laughs> it's going to be from me. People are like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're getting off. After that, there's um, Castle. I like that song. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. A Rose... There's a few. That is one of the better little, songs. Yeah, on the it's album. a little better, but I, I still. I think like, Castle and a Rose go. W- the go thing well is, together. a Rose. He's singing. He's what he's rapping about does not like reflect the same tone he's rapping in. That is. He's true. super serious, and yet he's still rapping like he's trying to spit bars. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to describe it. Okay. Oh, by the way, I wanted to say something. Remind me is the worst fucking song on this album. Really? One of my worst. Like, it's it's horrible. Hmm. I hate this song. They also ruin a perfectly good Joan Jett song. Which one did they ruin? Uh, I Love Rock and Roll. That's the song they did? Yeah. I completely forgot about that song. Oh, not, yeah, not Rock and Roll, song. but like... Oh, 
It makes me mad, more mad at the album. This album gets a fucking 2 out of 10 for me. I give it a 3 out of 10. It's, like, remember this. It's not even... Like, let's just say someone like... I don't know. Like, I don't know. Lil Skies. Why the fuck not? Uh, let's just say Lil Skies released this album. It would be a good album for them. Yeah. But it's the fact that the same guy that released songs like Lose Yourself fact, and Stan... No, and, no, you want to know what it is? Oh. The fact that somebody can go from making Marshall Mathers LP 2 to making a revival. I mean, that's why you don't take four years off. Release an album next year, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Or this, or the end of this, by the end of this year. Come on, please, something. Give me something. Could spit on the mic. I'll take it, man. Come on, we had we, something. We had homicide. That's enough Eminem homicide for this year. Homicide was great, though. That's we'll get enough. To that. We'll get to that in a little bit. Are we gonna talk about Eminem features? We're gonna talk about the Eminem features. Okay, we'll do that. Last. I didn't. I haven't listened to too many of the recent ones, but yeah. we'll talk about the ones I do know. Okay. Um. So here we go, Kamikaze. I don't remember this one too well. I remember this album. Um, The Ringer. I like this song. I love that song. I like this song. That's probably my favorite song where he actually goes fast in, which yeah. he does a lot in this album. I mean, I get this album has a tone, like, making fun of, like, rappers. That's pretty much the I album. I love the album art for this one, too. I love yeah. the I love the parody of uh, License to Ill by Beastie Boys. Yeah. It's very good. Top five best rap albums of all time, by the way. Ooh. Fuck. Come at me, internet. I think a lot of people Bitches. would agree with you. Well, I take that back. Did the not a lot of people liked the Beastie Boys. Yeah. They're not too popular, but you know what? That album's great. It's a good album. It's a good album. Even though I would say, I would say about like one fourth of those songs have been sam are just samples from NWA straight out of Compton. Well. Wait, that came out after Straight Outta Compton? Like a year after Straight Outta Compton. Oh, shit. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so, what's next? The Ringer. We already said The we Ringer. We said The Ringer. <laughs> the greatest. Greatest. It's not as strong as The Ringer, but I think it's a good song. Okay. Like, he just reaffirms his greatest of all time I don't time remember status. Lucky You. That's the feature with Joyner Lucas. Very good song, by the way. We get our... Now we gotta move. We got Paul Skid! And this is the most recent Paul Skid on the newest album. Damn, ever since, what is it, how long Relapse. Has it been? Relapse. Relapse one. Hell yeah. So, nine years it had Paul been. Skid. And this one, he's just like, yo, you shouldn't make an album replying to what people said about Revival. What's next, Kamikaze 2, where you reply to the reply? <laughs> and he's like, that's just not a good idea. It's probably going. Oops, shit. Well, not a lot of people liked this album, too. Yeah, I see people's thoughts on it, but it's uh, it's not bad. There's I a like few it. things on this album that I didn't, I didn't like. The Tyler the Creator diss, I didn't like that. He calls himself a faggot. No, a Togoth. Togoth. Because they reversed it, remember? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. After that, um, we have Normal. That's an okay song. I just want you to be normal. It's not bad. It's not great. But it's not bad. After that, we have M Calls Paul. I don't remember this one. He's like, I don't give a fuck what people say. And he's like going to someone's house to murder somebody or some shit like that. I don't even remember. It's not bad. Right. It's okay. I, you know, oh, I forgot he was on this album. Fuck. After this, I think it's the best song on this album. Is uh, Stepping Stone. Oh, Stepping Stone. That's his apology to D12. Because after... Here's the thing is, after Encore, there was never another D12 feature. And after that, he kind of just shit on them and ignored them. Mm -hmm. And this was a song apologizing for all that. Um, after that, we got Not Alike. Which is features Royce to 5 9 again. First yeah. time since uh, Bad Meets they Evil. They had a beef. They did have a for beef. For a long time. Until Bad Meets Evil came out, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, now that, what's it called? What was this song? Not Alike. Which kind of borrows No, the... after that. No, yeah, no. We're at Not Alike. Yeah, Not Alike kind of borrows that whole. Uh, the beat for Look Alive yeah, with Drake. But that's because it was produced by the same guy, fun fact. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's another song, This Is Everybody. That's the one where he directly name drops uh, MGK, or Machine Gun and Kelly, mm -hmm. which is, we're going to talk about a bit later after this album. Oh, we're yeah. going to talk about the last single. Yeah, the last single. And then we'll talk about features, and then we'll end the video. Yeah. If we missed anything. If we missed we anything. think of anything that we missed. Yeah. We'll bring it up another time. Yeah, we'll just be like, oh, 
referring to podcast number 26, I think. This is number 26, I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah. Also, the longest and probably will remain the longest podcast at an hour and a half so Eric's far. Eric's gonna be like, what the fuck, guys? I leave for one... We're gone for this long. We've been gone for like six yeah, weeks. Yeah, we've been gone for like six weeks, bro. We, we can t- upload a video this long. We'll be fine. Yeah, I think this makes up I for I don't like know if people are gonna watch the whole video, but... People are dedicated. Usually. Maybe not. I mean, we're, we're talking about Eminem. Yeah. We'll probably get a few stands in here. Maybe. If so, what's up? Fuck you. <laughs> and thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Goodbye. No. Well, come on, we gotta keep going. They've already they're already all mad at us. That is true. <laughs> we said relapse was good, so we're on we the we, we said recovery was good too. Not a lot of people liked recovery for some true. reason. I feel like that album, those two albums are liked more people our age because we grew up with them, so... At least I did. And all the 50 Cent fans are still mad at me. <laughs> We're gonna apologize. Including my mom. <laughs> so, hey, Zach's mom, I'm glad you joined that one show podcast. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Okay, so Kamikaze, I think, is next. Kamikaze. Uh, it's one of the weaker songs on the album. Yeah. But it's not bad. It's not horrible. Fall. I don't remember this one too much. That's a good one. Yeah. It's like, dude, it has like a faster beat, and it's like the last song where it like calls out people. Mm-hmm. It's the last diss song, pretty much. That's the one where we call Tyrant Creator a faggot. Oh, is this the one I'm thinking of, Nice Guy? I is hate the, that song so is much. Is that the one yeah. I'm thinking of? Yeah, it is. Suck my dick! That song's so <laughs> bad. Suck my dick! That's, I actually that don't is, mind that song, because I like, it has nice lyrics. Like, I didn't, I didn't expect it. When I first listened to it, I was like, oh, this sounds nice. And then all of a sudden, suck my dick! I just... And the, I think the girl's annoying in this song. And the next song, she's really good, because she's in two songs. Yeah, after that, it's Good Guy. I really, I like that song. That's a good song. It's Jesse Reyes. Yeah. She's a Canadian pop star, I think. And this is the last song in the album. Which, for some reason, he tied himself to a movie... A Ven- shitty one. Venom. We one already, that we've reviewed. We've already talked about. And we've talked about this song before. So, we're referring to, like, three podcasts. No, I'm gonna talk before. about it. Okay. It sucks. It's not a good it's song. It's bad. It's not... It's, the chorus is fucking horrible. It's definitely the most popular song on the he album. Lit- the whole fucking chorus is just... Venom, venom, it's, venom, it's actually not. Venom, 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 venom. It's actually not the word venom. It just sounds like it. I looked it up. I read the lyrics books. But it's still not that great. I don't really like the... the I don't like this song. The movie's okay. It's a good song to go with the movie. I guess. I... I no. I don't like that song. The chorus is bad. The chorus is just too bad well, for me. Take the chorus it. out. It's not a bad song, but it's not a great song. But the, with the chorus, it's pretty not good. It, no, I mean, Eminem sings the chorus on this one. That's what yeah. I'm saying. The Venom... Like... I don't... I don't like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Alright, so I think... After Kamikaze, we have, like, what, three features, maybe? Well, no, or there's the, what's it called? There's the single, which we already touched on, the oh, Kill yeah, Shot. Oh, yeah, Kill Shot. Is where he a came. great song. Uh, long story short, that song. MGK released a diss track on Eminem called Rap Devil, and... I actually don't hate that song. Everyone 100%. hates it. percent yeah, is the thing. It's okay. It was everyone, an okay response when it came out. Everyone loved that song, and then once Killshot came out, everyone hated that song, and people still hate it to this day. I didn't think it was. I still think they're both horrible. okay songs. Actually, I like Killshot's Kill Shot better. Killshot's way better. Killshot's way better, but like, a Rap Devil wasn't. He was. He did say a lot of stupid stuff in that song. Yeah, he did a lot of like. He got his math wrong. Oh, yeah, your last <laughs> four like, albums suck. Go back to recovery. recovery. He was like, and then Eminem was like, that was fucking three albums ago, dumbass. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right, that's it for albums. Let's talk about a few features. I'm just going to go ahead and do the newest one, because that's the one I remember the most. Homicide. 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 I like that song a lot. Homicide. I like that song. It's a good song. And the, good. the fucking ending of the song... Is like a comedian making fun of how he used to just say words to oh, call them. Oh, Crystalia! I love Crystalia. I love how Eminem, how uh, Logic raps, um, in this basically the same style as he, you, as Eminem used to do back in his Slim Shady yeah. days, with with his chicka chickas and 
There's yeah. no way he was rapping all in all. Did he just? He was trying to mimic his style back then. I like yeah. that. He's on way too many napkins. Bapkins. <laughs> flaming around like a flamingon. <laughs> yeah, great. But what's not great is the album that that song was on. But that's for... We already talked about that album. Okay, moving on to other features. Fuck lot, no. Damn. <laughs> uh, everybody and uh, Bobby Tarrant. Not everybody. Um... Bobby Tarantino. Under Pressure. And Under Pressure. Under Pressure is the only mandatory one. The rest of them, I mean, like, Under Pressure is okay. Bobby Tarantino. Not Under Pressure. Fuck my ass, I can't speak. Bobby Tarantino is pretty good. Bobby Tarantino is pretty good. The second one is okay, too. I don't, I like it for some reason, but I'm weird, so, you know. Alright, well, enough of logic. Uh, do you know any of other features you want to talk Oh, the most famous ones, the Dr. Dre features. Or he features on Dr. Dre's songs. Oh, yeah, we completely missed over this. Well, so we're about gonna the same that. time frame as. Slim Shady LP. As so Slim, go back no, to 19. Not even Slim Shady LP. Oh, really? His first feature with Dr. Dre was in 2001, and Marshall Mathers LP 2 came out in 2000. Well, so no, Slim Shady LP was it out was in 99. a little bit after. What I'm saying is, he his Dr. Dre he didn't feature in a Dr. Dre song until 2001. Yeah, so it was about the time between Eminem show and Marshall Mathers LP. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Eminem show came out. No, Eminem show. Fuck me. Slim Shady LP came out in '99, and 2001 came out in '99. 2001 did not come out in 2001. Oh, what the fuck you mean, boy? It didn't. It's just called 2001. I, f- I was confused when I saw that too, don't worry. I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, I have the Eminem, th- I have 2001 right here. Um, so here's the ones. Um, what's the difference? I fucking love this song. Yeah, that's the first feature. With- There's only two, I think, but yeah. And the next song. Not only, uh, probably the biggest, doc- one of the biggest Dr. Dre songs, but one of the most popular Eminem songs. Yeah, forgot about Dre. Forgot about Dre. I love that song. Yeah. Every time that song comes on, I get hype as fuck. Yeah, you do. Because I know the lyrics to it, and I can keep up with them in yeah. that one. And then the last Dr. Dre one is I Need a Doctor. I do, yeah, I, know, I haven't heard that one. It's worth a listen. Okay. He's pretty much saying, like, how I would never be able to get this far without you. I th- yeah. I th- I'm pretty sure he said something like that. I mean, it's true. It is 100% true. Anyways, any other features that you can think of? Um, I can think of a few more if need be. Nah. Okay, there's one with Lil Wayne. It came out, like, right as Relapse came out, I think. Uh, yeah. It's Drop the World. Very good song. I, I think I heard I'm that one. Pick the world up and I'm gonna drop it on your fucking head. It's a good song. It's worth a listen. That's all I gotta say. I get this revival off my phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Ew>. Okay. <laughs> and I know you don't probably don't listen to this guy because he's a newer rapper. Um, he has a feature on Big Sh- with Big Sean. No favors. That's a really good song. It's, I haven't heard that. Uh, it's worth listening to. He has a... No, I have heard, um... He has another song called Caterpillar with Royce to 5'9". He does, yeah. I, that's I real, that's that like it came out well. last year or something. I don't remember that song too well, but it, it does exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that came out really recently. He did, he did a feature with someone else like a few years ago, and I forget who. <sighs> this is not good. Royce to 5'9". <laughs> Wait, I th- wait, isn't Forever a Drake song? Forever is a Drake song. Alright, exactly. so we can talk wait. about that. We already talked Even about it. Even though we already Forever. talked about it. Oh, he had the best line in it, by the way. Best, best verse. Really? Not Drake, Eminem did. Eminem had the best verse? I think so. I like Kanye's. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't think it's the best Kanye verse, but it's. I think it's pretty good. Eminem he, does. I think he does has the. He, he does has. He definitely has he some has. of the best verses on that. Song, yeah. but sorry if I took forever. <laughs> well, he mentions that in the song "Fall" on Kamikaze. What? Uh, that I had the best verse. Sorry that I took forever. Ha <laughs> ha. He, he did. It was well. on relapse. What? Oh yeah, it was. He kind of did take it a little bit. I mean, like it is he claimed it as his song, pretty much. Yeah. He should do a f- another feature with Drake. That'd be fun. I don't think he will. I don't think he After likes the Drake. Drake diss. He doesn't. He didn't. What's it called? Diss Drake in that album. He did. No, he didn't. I don't believe in ghosts. 
He wasn't saying that directly to Drake. I read that online that he was. He was saying that about the industry itself. Oh, okay. Because there's a lot of people who have ghostwriters. So, yeah. Nah, fuck that shit. Bro. What time are we at? Hour 45 and 37 seconds. Bro, we went through all, every Eminem album in an hour and 45 we'll minutes. We'll never have to talk about it again. Until another album comes out. Yeah. Well, We're I'll, probably gonna end up talking about him again. I'll talk about the newest feature, though, with uh, Ed Sheeran and 50 Cent. It's not a bad song, but it's... It's, a, it's not I a good song. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. It's not that great. Spoiler alert. Eminem does have one of the best parts in it, though. It's weird hearing Ed Sheeran, like, rap, though. Can he rap? He's okay. He's not great, but he's no he's not really that good. But oh, what okay. I wanted to bring up in a previous album, uh, Marshall Mathers LP 2, he, in, I don't even remember which one, it, what song it is. Okay. Where the fuck is it? I don't know. Um, Stronger Than I Was, Eminem sings in that song. It sucks. His singing is... He he's trying to sing something that his singing capability is not capable of. Oh. He's just he's not capable of singing this song in the way he wants. Oh. His vocals are not meant to make those noises. Vocal cords out. Damn. Eminem and Eminem and Logic and Homicide. Hold my oxygen. Yeah. Hold Emin- my Logic. Oxygen. Logic takes all oxygen in the room. Eminem, hold my oxygen. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk? All right, so now that we've gotten that out, and we we'll never do that again, and we get called white boys for the rest of our lives. Is there anything else we want to talk about for today? Just like inform people what's been up. Sorry, there hasn't been a podcast in a while. We can start with that. Me and Eric have no. Us and Eric have. Uh, Eric's been busy, I guess. Oh, uh, I guess he's been busy. All right. Was look, that supposed to mean... Look at camera. <laughs> Was that supposed to mean AJ? Mm-hmm. He, he'll know already. He'll know why he mm-hmm. sucks at uploading and all that now. Okay. Hey, that could have... It could have been me, but you know... He's not even watching this part of the video, so... Uh, let's see. Water bottle. Water bottle. <laughs> Say water bottle in the comments if you made it this far. Yay! I need a life, dude. This is All right. terrible. I think we can end this. I think so, too. So, will we ever top this in podcast length? Maybe. Not sure yet, though. Maybe when we talk about another music artist. <laughs> We're but, not going to make this an album review channel. No. We're just doing this with Eminem. This is a one-off thing. Maybe one day, if we can find somebody worthy of it. Yeah. I'd do, I'd do Beatles. And... The, no, no, we're going to stop right here before I start listing right. off other artists that I'd rather do. Yeah. All right, so thanks for watching this podcast. Next episode is going to be more of a regular podcast. Well, it's not going to be an audio one. So I'm AJ. I'm Zach. And this has been that one show. Always tip your delivery driver. Exactly. Ooh, we've Ten dollar minimum. Exactly. Especially if it's me, it should be f- like fifteen. Ooh, no, I thought it was ten dollars. You're getting no. you want more money, don't you? No. It's only if it's me though. Oh, okay. Only Fair if enough. It's me. 